Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good day, good night. That was so many. I want to read. Um, I actually don't want to read. I want to sing. But it's 9 p.m. And I live with old people. So I read to express. And I think... I don't know whether I to read Letters of a Modern Mystic or Out of Solitude. Mm, let's do a random page from a random page from Letters by a Modern Mystic. I have tasted a thrill in fellowship with God, which has made anything discordant with God disgusting. Okay, sounds judgmental, but I have a feeling that if we look deeper into what he's actually saying, we can get past his strong use of language and not have aversion to an intense desire to be in unity with God. Okay, here we go. This afternoon, the possession of God has caught me up with such sheer joy that I thought I never had known anything like it. God was so close and so amazingly lovely that I felt like melting all over with a strange, blissful contentment. Wow, that sounds like a good feeling. Having had this experience, which comes to me now several times a week, the thrill of filth repels me, for I know its power to drag me from God. And after an hour of close fellowship with God, my soul feels as clean as new fallen snow. I experience that when I fast. Um, when I'm not eating. Um, and I instead just like be <laughs> and am there with God. There's a, there is a sense of newness and freshness um, and goodness. It's really beautiful. And it's like coming from just being present with Jesus because it's the purest thing you could do um, is just know you need him and that's kind of it. Everywhere people are beautiful. Yes, amen. Let's, let's read that again. Everywhere people are beautiful or at least they have a beautiful side. On a boat from Manila last week was a painted woman alone. I spoke to her because she was lonesome. What a gem. <laughs> Three of the ship's officers nearby tittered as though they thought a scandal was brewing. So I talked aloud enough for them to hear. I told her I was looking for God. As naturally as a preacher, she replied, God is everywhere around us. And in us, if we only open our eyes. <laughs> All the world is beautiful if we have eyes to see the beauty, for the world is packed with God. Yeah, that's my favorite. Thank you for that, I said. I love it, and I love him. What are you going to Cebu for? C-E-B-U. Cebu? 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 I don't know. To put on my special act. You see, I danced before seven years. Nobody else in the world, so far as I know, has just this act. I am traveling alone, making my own engagements, for it is too expensive to have a property man. I was treated wonderfully well through India. Wonderfully well. I like the way she pronounced that word. Wonderfully and the memories which lingered in her tired eyes. And many people in Manila wrote me lovely letters, asking me to come back. Oh, the world is full of good people. Full of good people. When the dinner bell rang, I said, I'm going about the world, trying to find wonderful hours, and I shall remember this as one of them. Come on. We should read one more chapter. 
This conscious, incessant submission to God has proven extremely difficult, and I have surrendered for the past few days. And today and yesterday, I saw evidence of the result. In an effort to be witty, I have said biting things which have hurt the feelings of others, have been short and impatient. I tremble, for I have told at least one of these men of this experiment, and he will think it. this is the result. Oh, okay. He says, um, in efforts to be witty, he has said biting things, and I tremble, for I have told at least one of these men of this experiment, and he will think this is the result. The experiment is, he's pretty much doing everything he can to every moment, like once every 60 seconds, um, come back to God and realign with, am I acting in the will of God in this moment? What is the will of God in this moment. It's cool. Um, it is very dangerous to tell people, and yet I must tell, and I must start over now and succeed. Okay, that's a little extreme, I think, because uh, God is secure. It's okay. But I get, I'm a perfectionist. I'm an all-or-nothing type, and so I get that. This philosophy that one can begin all over instantly at any moment is proving of great help. True. It is refreshing. We can start new at any point, and God can make new at any point. If this record of a soul's struggle to find God is to be complete, it must not omit the story of difficulty and failure. If this record of a soul's struggle to find God is to be complete, it must not omit the story of difficulty and failure. Okay, yeah. I have not succeeded very well so far. <laughs> That's me every day. I say that really regularly, and it's okay. This week, for example, has not been one of the finest of my life, though it has been above the average. I have to make a greater effort next week. I have undertaken something which, at my age at least, is hard. Harder than I had anticipated. But I resolve not to give up the effort. Yet strain does not seem to do good. At this moment, I feel something let go inside. And lo, God is good. It is a heart-melting hearness, a lovely whispering of father to child. And the reason I did not have it before was because I failed to let go. And back of that failure, there was something else. A crowd of people arrived who when they are in a crowd, wish to talk or think nothing of religion. I fear I have not wanted some of them to think me religious, for I fear I might cease to be interesting. Hmm. Fellowship with God is something one dare not cover, for it smothers to death. It is like a tender infant or a delicate little plant, for a long nurturing is for a long nurturing is the price of having it, while it vanishes in a second of time. The very moment, indeed, one's eye ceases to be single. One cannot worship God and mammon for the reason that God slips out and is gone as soon as we try to seek some other unworthy affection beside him. The other idol stays and God vanishes. Not because God is a jealous God, but because sincerity and insincerity are contradictions and cannot both exist at the same time in the same place. Mm. That book is really intense. This book is really intense, and the guy who wrote it seems to have been in a pretty intense period of his life of hunger and exploration when he wrote it, which is good. Intense, but good. Intensity is good. If it's used for good. And what is good? <laughs> I would like to write about that. Ah, this one's short enough that I should just do a series and start from the beginning and read through all of it. I'll just do that. So I won't read it right now.
but I hope you are intrigued. I have so many books to read and to recommend to read, and I need to read them more consistently. Okay, this was good for me. I hope it blesses you if you're watching that you are filled with the peace and the joy of the Holy Spirit of Jesus and that he meets you. Let him meet you. Okay, good night.